few moments ago, Jim Hunter caught up with the Orioles pitching coach Rick Kranitz, and they talked a little bit about Brian Mattis's seven-inning, eight-strikeout performance last night. Well, I tell you what, he put it all together last night. I mean, uh, his delivery, I thought, was uh, exactly where he needed it to be. You know, I mean, he, I mean, that's a carbon copy of of what he needs to do and and how his delivery should be every time he goes out. I mean, it was absolutely perfect. Anytime, you know, you, you go out there and you pound the strike zone the way he did, uh, I think he was uh, strike one on 15 consecutive hitters. You know, I mean, he's, he, he had all four of his pitches, and, and usually when that happens and you pitch ahead the way he did, you, the other team's in trouble, you know, because now there's, it's a guessing game. They, 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 don't know what to, they don't know what to look for, and, you know, he was, he was absolutely outstanding. How often is it realistic to expect that a starter will go to the mound, as Brian did last night, and be able to throw any pitch in any count for a strike? Well, that's the thing about this game. You know, I mean, you, you, everyone says, you know, you have to ju adjust. You know, last night was one of those games where he had everything. And, and, you know, you expect to win. You expect those kind of things to happen. You, you know, you, he set the tone, and what he did was he, he, knew what he, he knew what he had. He was calm, and he just made pitches. Whereas, you know, there are times where you only have one pitch or two pitches, and you have to be able to understand how to pitch through it and maybe not go to that third or fourth pitch when it's not working and get yourself in trouble. You know, that's all about pitching and knowing what you have. He had all four. He had a lot of toys to play with, and he was playing with them all uh, pretty well last night. Brad Bergeson goes tonight, and uh, he really has had three seasons within one. And you talk about a guy who has persevered. Uh, he has definitely done that. And a major difference in his second half has been the addition of the four-seam fastball. Why did you decide he needed that? Well, I think, you know, he just changed his delivery and, and changed his arm slot when he threw his, his sinker, you know. And, and uh, for his survival, I think he kind of – developed that on his own to where he, he saw, he started to see some uh, results and he kind of stuck with it. So it was, he kind of evolved. And then, you know, we had talked about, you know, he says, wow, I threw a lot of four seamers and it was just like, you know, that you, there's a different, there's a different gear there. And, you know, sometimes in this game, you, 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 you uh, stumble onto something uh, and get a little lucky with it. You know, he's found a different gear and that's great because that's only going to make his sinker better.